their shortcomings, there are some things developed in SUVs that work in this relatively smaller unit. One of the issues traditionally associated with full-size SUVs is getting in and out of the rear seat. Usually it means climbing up and down. Well, in this particular class of vehicles called crossovers, General Motors seems to have gotten it right, and access is relatively simple. And in a moment of head-slapping vision, double-down second-row seats are standard for easier access to the third row or cargo area. Wisely, GM has not crammed a V8 engine into the crossovers. Instead, a reliable 3.6-liter V6 does the job for front-wheel and all-wheel drive versions, with respectable fuel economy for something that weighs in at nearly two and a half tons. But what is also worth noting is that the Traverse and its corporate cousins can also tow up to 5,200 pounds, which covers most boats and reasonable sized trailers, if anyone can still afford one these days. What will be interesting to see is if GM will consider a hybrid version of the crossover that will make the government and the buying public happy again. This is Greg Morrison.